Lesson 9, thirds equations, example 9. Solve in the exact form the equation, the square root of 4x plus 1, plus the square root of x plus 3 equals 2. Now to get rid of these, these thirds, we'll first of all square both sides. We won't get them rid of the first line of working, but we will proceed. Now squaring that one, we get 4x plus 1, plus twice the product, to square root of... 4x plus 1, x plus 3, plus x plus 3, and squaring the 2 we get 4. Collecting like terms, we're going to get here 5x plus 4, plus 2 outside of the square root of x, 4x plus 1, x plus 3, equals 4. take the these across the other side I get 2 so the square root of 4x plus 1 x plus 3 equals 4s will go out and you get minus 5x now again square both sides we get 4 outside of now removing these brackets we're going to get, we'll get 4x squared and 12x and 1x is 13x plus 3 equals 25x squared. Now, expanding this out, we get 16x squared plus 52x plus 12 equals 25x squared. Taking this across the other side, I get 9x squared minus 52x minus 12 equals 0. Now, I'm not going to look for solutions. I'll use the quadratic formula. So x equals 52 plus or minus square root of b squared. That's 50 minus 52 squared. Now, this will be a plus 4 times 9 times 12 because the minus made this one a plus, all over 18. So this comes out to x equals 52 plus or minus 56 on 18. So x equals 6 or minus 2 ninths. Now, if we go back and Look at the 6 back in here. Put the 6 in there, you'll see 6 plus 3 is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3, so clearly 6 can't be the solution. And if you check, like to check it, the only solution is x equals minus 2 ninths is the solution to this. Okay, now in part 2 you'll see that... Um, it's the same equation, except this is now a, a minus sign, not a plus sign. So we'll go ahead and do this as before. Squaring this, we're going to get the 4x plus 1 minus twice the product. 4x plus 1, x plus 3, plus x plus 3 is equal to 4. So we get 5x plus 4 minus 2 outside of 4x plus 1, x plus 3 equals 4. Okay, we get minus 2 outside of 4x plus 1, x plus 3 is equal to minus 5x. Squaring both sides, 4 outside of, now this becomes 4x squared plus 13x plus 12 equals 25x squared. I think you'll see where this is going. Plus 52x 
Oh, it should be a three. Sorry, it should be a three in there. Anticipate it. Plus 12 equals 25 x squared. And now this becomes 9x squared minus 52x minus 12 equals 0. And that's exactly the same equation we had before. The solution is being x equals 6 and x equals minus 2 ninths. But this time you'll see that when you put back the 6 in here, the 6 in there, that'll give you square root of 25 minus the square root of 9. And that is, in fact, going to be the correct answer. So this time, there's only a solution with this one. You can check this one. Obviously, this one's not going to work. The minus 2 nines back in there. Right? But you can check anyhow. So x equals 6 is the only solution to this one.